All right, y'all, we have a can of pizza crust here, and you know what? It popped open before I started this video, so we're just gonna do this. So, what we're gonna do here, you can see it's rolled up like so. I'm gonna take my kitchen scissors here, and I'm just gonna start cutting it into little pieces, all right? Now, y'all, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here, but this is gonna be so delicious. It's one of my favorite things to make, and I am so excited to show y'all this. It's quick, it's easy. My kids love it. They think it's such a fun and easy take on a classic dish. And you know what, y'all? Kitchen scissors are the best. Why use a knife when you have scissors? It makes everything easier. I know y'all use kitchen scissors too, it ain't just me. All right, so we almost there. And again, you could just cut these kind of like bite sizes. I really like using this pizza dough because it kind of rises a little bit and you'll see exactly what we're gonna make here. It's gonna be so good, y'all. All right, so we have our one can of our, our pizza crust, just like so. Next, we're gonna take a package of pepperoni, all right? So this is, a, I think it's, a, yeah, six ounce package. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use our kitchen scissors again, y'all, okay? We're just gonna cut these in half and sprinkle them all the way around, all right? Now, if you want, you can cut them smaller, but I don't know, I kinda like them this size. I like the half moon shape. It makes me happy, so that's what we're gonna go with today, all right? All right, y'all, this is perfect. This is smelling good already. Now, I'm sure you can figure out what I'm making here. So far, we have a pizza crust, a pre-made pizza crust, and a package of pepperoni. I love pepperoni, so good. And you know what, y'all, I, I have a question for you. Now, I get a lot of comments on my videos. People think it's weird that I don't wear gloves when I cook at home. I wanna know who out there wears gloves while they cook at home. If you do, I wanna know because I don't. All right, if you're handling raw meat or raw fish, maybe I understand, but who wears gloves when they cook at home? I think that's just crazy. I wanna know who does. All right, so we have our pepperoni in there, all right? So we're just gonna layer this stuff in here real nice. Next, we're gonna take two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. So I already have this package open, so we're just gonna put this one in. And then I have a bigger package, so I'm just gonna sprinkle this in as well. So now I'm just kind of guessing about two cups, but if you wanna measure it out exactly, you can. That's what the recipe calls for. I've made this a few times. So I, that's, that's about two cups. Next, we're gonna use about a quarter of a cup ooh, of Parmesan cheese. Now, if you wanna use the shredded Parmesan, you can, but I just had this in my fridge, so that's what we're gonna use today. All right, we're gonna take some Italian seasoning, now you can use a mixture of like basil and oregano if you want, but I just use this, I think it's easy. You're gonna use about two teaspoons or to taste. So that, that looks good to me. That looks good to me, y'all. All right, and a little bit of pink salt. I love using the Himalayan pink salt, just a little bit. We don't need too much because that pepperoni does have a lot of salt. And then here, we're gonna take some garlic, all right? So you can use a couple cloves of garlic, but I just have this in my fridge because I think it's easier to use. And I like to make things quick and easy, y'all. That's what I like to do. All right, so next, we have here a half a stick of melted butter, all right? Half a stick of melted butter. And we're just gonna drizzle this on top all the way around. All right, we have one more step. This is already looking so good. But y'all, you're gonna take your hands, and if you're one of those people that wear gloves at home, go ahead and put on your gloves, but not me, okay? This is for me and my family. My hands are clean, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna mix it around with our hands. Kind of incorporate these ingredients here. All, remember, all that pizza crust is at the bottom, so we're just gonna kind of move everything around. We want everything kind of evenly, evenly uh, mixed up together here. So we're just gonna do that, kind of toss it around. Oh, y'all, this is looking so good. It's one of my favorite things to make. And also, if you don't have one of these bunt pans, I highly recommend it. This is a silicone bunt pan. And you know what? It's great because you don't have to grease it and nothing sticks. It's so easy to use and that's all. I just love using it. All right, so once we have this nice and mixed, we're just gonna take this to our oven. We're gonna put it at 350 for about 40 minutes. All right, y'all, so we just layer in our flour tortillas here. And you can use corn if you'd like. All right, on our, on our uh, cookie sheet. And now we're gonna take some chicken. So this is some fresh shredded chicken. We're just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle this all the way around. And if you want to uh, make this smaller, like shredded, be my guest, but you know what, I'm lazy, so these, these pieces are gonna have to do. 
All right. Next, y'all, we're gonna take a packet of this ranch seasoning, just dry, okay? And we're just gonna sprinkle this right on top of our chicken, like so. All right, we're gonna use, we're not gonna use the whole packet, that's good. We used about half the packet. Next here, I have this uh, red taco sauce. I love this stuff. I use the mild, because I don't like stuff too spicy, but you can use whatever you'd like. So we're just gonna do a nice, healthy, healthy serving of this. Drizzle, drizzle, right on top of our chicken, okay? That's good, let's see. That's good, all right, yep. So I probably had about half this jar full, and I think that's good. We do need a little bit of liquid for that dry powder, that uh, ranch mix, okay? And y'all, I, I want you to see what I got here. I got this at Walmart. Look at this. It was a whole rotisserie chicken for $3.55. You can't go wrong with this meal, okay? So you got to keep it a lookout for that. So next, we're going to add here a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese. All right, we're just going to do a nice layer right on top. This is one of my favorite quick and easy meals to make. It's great for lunch. It's great for dinner. It's great for game day. Whatever you'd like, y'all. And you know what? It's real simple and it's real good and it's inexpensive to make, which is my favorite. Food prices are so crazy lately that whenever, whenever I can find a deal, I, I try to and I try to make the best meal possible out of it, all right? All right, then we're going to take a little bit of fresh chive. All right, and y'all also, if you want, you can get some corn tortillas if you want this to be gluten-free, or you can also buy those low-carb tortillas if you want it to be a little bit healthier, all right? All right, so my secret ingredient, we're gonna take a little bit of cream cheese here. So I don't know if y'all have ever had chicken with cream cheese, but it is one of my favorite things ever. So we're just gonna take a few of these cream cheese squares. Oh, this is melting already. It's getting sticky on my fingers, y'all. And we're just gonna spread these out, okay? These are gonna melt while it's cooking. And the best thing about this, y'all, again, it's super fast and easy. Everything in here is already cooked, okay? And and if you don't, if you can't find that cheap cooked chicken already, you can use leftover chicken, or you can even use that canned chicken. I've used that sometimes, and honestly, it's actually really good in this recipe. All right. So once we have, uh, once we have it like this, what we're going to do next is we're going to fold all these over, just like so. Actually, let's see. Yep, we're going to fold these over. Okay, we're gonna do it this way first. All right, I, I, I was having, a, my, my brain wasn't working that well for a second, so I needed to figure this out. So we're gonna fold all these over. Then we're gonna fold the top and the bottom, okay? Folding this over, you're just gonna take a little toothpick and put it right in the corner, okay? And we're gonna take these out, but this is just why we fold them, because we want this to stay in a nice little package. It's almost like you're wrapping a present, a food present, okay? Food presents are my favorite kind of presents though, y'all. I'm telling you, I love food. I love eating, I love cooking. And this is one of my favorite recipes ever. Okay, so now we're gonna take one more tortilla, just like that, okay? I had two, but one will cover it. Now what we're gonna do, because we want this to get a little bit crisp, I have some spray olive oil, all right? So we're just gonna spray a layer right on top like this. Right on top of our tortillas, all right? We get it nice and wet. And then we also gonna add right on top of this olive oil spray, a little bit of salt. And I have this pink Himalayan salt. So we are just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that right on top. All right. So the way we are gonna cook this y'all, okay? We have a, another cookie sheet right here. Now I covered mine in foil. Okay, so what we are gonna do is I'm gonna take these toothpicks out. That was holding it in place, but now that it's folded, we good. I'm gonna take these all out right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this down. We're gonna put this cookie sheet right on top of our tortillas and kind of push it down, okay? And we're just gonna cook it like this, y'all. So we're gonna have it nice and flat on the bottom and top and nice and crispy. So we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. And I'm so excited to show y'all one of my favorite recipes. All right, y'all, I have a pound of ground beef here that I cooked already. So we're just gonna put about half of it on the bottom of our, of our uh, baking dish here. Then we're gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce. Just a little bit. We just want it to be wet. All right, that's good. And then we're also gonna add a little bit of ketchup. All right, I know, I know what you're thinking. This seems weird, but I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite dinner, dinner casseroles to make. It's quick, it's easy, and it just tastes so good. So we're just gonna give this a little mix, this wet mixture on the bottom, all right? 
incorporate that sauce, that ketchup, and my ground beef. Now next, we're gonna add a little bit of diced onion. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in, all right? And then we're also gonna add a little bit of fresh chive, just a little bit, like so. I'm gonna get my salt here. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. I did not season my beef when I was cooking it, so that's why I'm gonna add some of my Himalayan pink salt right now. That looks so beautiful already, I think. Don't you think so? All right, so we're just gonna give this another little mix, okay? Just like so. All right, so we're gonna flatten this down at the bottom, just like that. And I know it seems like I used a lot of onion, but you're gonna see you're, you're gonna see why, okay? There's a reason, there's a method to my madness, y'all. I'm telling you, there's a reason I'm doing it like this. So next we have some sharp cheddar cheese. Now for this step, you can use whatever kind of cheese you'd like. Uh, you could even do slices of American cheese if that's your preference, but I like using sharp cheddar. I just think it has the best flavor. So we're just gonna put a nice layer of the sharp cheddar just on top so it covers up our beef layer, all right? Just like so. So next here, we're gonna take the rest of our ground beef mixture and we're just gonna spoon this right on top of our cheese. All right. So again, we have all the wet ingredients at the bottom, which is fine, that's exactly what we want. So it seemed like I used a lot of tomato sauce and ketchup, but we don't put more in this layer, all right? We just leave this layer just as so. And I like to use the 80-20 ground beef. I think it tastes the best and I always strain out the fat, but y'all can use whatever you like, all right? So I'm also gonna put a little bit of pepper on this layer now, just like so, a little bit of pepper. And then we also gonna do a little bit more chive right here on top, okay? Oh, not that much. I'm gonna have bad breath if I use that much, y'all. Okay, we don't want that. All right, and then what, all we're gonna do here is we're gonna finish this with a little more cheese, okay? We're gonna put a little more cheese, sprinkle, sprinkle, right on top. And if you wanna use more cheese, you can use more. If you wanna use less, you can use less, okay? I love cheese, though, so we're just gonna make sure that's nice and covered, okay? So now, y'all, our last step, which is the best part of this dish, we have some crescent rolls, all right? So I already started opening this can. These have been giving me a hard time today. You know, sometimes they just pop and they kind of scare you. And then sometimes they open a little bit nicer like this one. So we're gonna take our crescent rolls out. And what I'm gonna do here, so you see if you unroll it, they're in these little triangles, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna rip these apart and we just gonna put it on top like so all the way around make a pretty design and even if they overlap that's totally fine okay I'm gonna make a pretty oh there's a cat hair let's get that out of here all right y'all because you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here even though these are overlapping so if they do completely cover the top, that's great. If they don't, that's great too. I like using this little square bacon dish, but y'all can use whatever you'd like, all right? All right, we're gonna put one more right here. And this last one, we're just gonna put here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna roll these all up, all right? We're gonna roll these all up. So it's kind of like they're little crescent pockets right on top of our little casserole here, okay? All right, this is gonna be so good, y'all. I'm so excited. So what we made here, is a delicious easy dinner your whole family will love my kids love it everybody loves it and this is just called a cheeseburger casserole okay so you just take your little crescents you roll them on up like so and uh they're on the edge of your dish and it's super easy because all you got to do is wait for these crescents to cook and the cheese to melt because everything else is done so we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes Uh, I have one package of spaghetti. I like using the thin spaghetti. I feel like it cooks easier in this recipe. But y'all can use whatever you'd like. All right, and we're gonna split this in half because we wanna keep this cheese in the center. All right, this goat cheese. I love goat cheese. And if y'all have never made pasta with goat cheese, you gotta try it because it's so delicious and creamy. Has a really good flavor, all right? So this is one of my favorite quick and easy dinners to make. You just throw everything in the pan and then you cook it. And it turns out so good, y'all. All right, that's, that's about half and half. Perfect. Next here, I have a can of traditional pasta sauce. 
We're just gonna pour this on top of the spaghetti. Half on each side. All right, we're gonna get it all out. That looks so good so far, y'all. So good, look at that. All right, then on top of that, we're gonna do a little bit of seasoning. I have some parsley. Oops, that's a lot. That's okay though. We're gonna mix it all up. So that's fine that too much came out. A Little bit of garlic powder. Now y'all can use fresh garlic if you'd like, but I just like using this. It's fast, it's easy, and it tastes real good, all right? That's perfect, all right. So next step here, we're gonna put some cheese, more cheese on top of the sauce. We're gonna do some mozzarella. So we're just gonna take some mozzarella and we're just gonna put this right on top of our tomato sauce. All right, oh, y'all, this is smelling so good so far. Right on top, just like that. Quick and easy dinner. If y'all wanna add some meat, you can. For this one, I'm making it vegetarian, but meat is good in here too. If you want some meatballs or some sausage, whatever you'd like. All right, so now we do need to add some liquid here because we need to cook this pasta, right? We have some from the sauce, but I'm gonna take some milk. So this is gonna be like a creamy tomato sauce pasta, okay? So we're just gonna pour it right over here. Gonna pour some right here. I'm gonna pour it on the other side as well. All right, so for this dish, I'd like to use milk and water. So I'm actually gonna make sure, I'm gonna get all the rest of this good tomato sauce out of the jar. So I'm just gonna pour some water right on in my jar, shake it around a little bit. And then we're gonna go around the sides and just pour, all right? I'm just gonna pour it like so. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is gonna be so good. And it's so easy. This is my new favorite way to make pasta. You don't have to cook the pasta separate, cook your sauce separate. You just put everything in one dish and you throw it in the oven and it turns out so good. You're gonna love it, y'all. All right, last step here. We're gonna take some Parmesan cheese and we're gonna sprinkle this all on top, all right? I love Parmesan, so we're just gonna do this all right on top. Even on top of our little goat cheese log, just like that. Mm -mm. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. All right, and then we're gonna add, we're gonna finish this with a little bit of Italian seasoning. I need to open this better. It's not coming out that good, but that's okay. All right, there we go, it's coming out now. All right, a little bit of Italian seasoning. Then all we're gonna do is pop this in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. All right, y'all, I took this out of the oven a little while ago. We have our pizza bunt bake. I'm so excited to try this, it smells so good. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna flip this upside down right onto our white plate here, all right? I can't wait to see this. Oh my goodness, look at that. I am so excited to eat this, y'all. It's gonna be so good. And look, this is what you do here. You just put some marinara sauce right in the center of your bunt bake. And you know what? We're gonna cut into this because I am hungry. I love pizza. I love pepperoni. So I'm just gonna take a big old slice of this. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at this. Look at all that cheese, that pepperoni. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Okay, you know what? I, I'm gonna dip it in here too. Mm. Oh my goodness. This might be the best thing I ever made, y'all. I'm, I'm not even lying. Mm. Oh my God. All right, y'all. So remember, this is our tortilla bag. I actually, I took it out of the oven and I took it off the bacon dish so it would stop cooking. And I just put it on some foil. Um, but it's still pretty hot, but you know what? I'm gonna cut into it because I'm real excited. And y'all are y'all are just gonna love this dish. It's so easy to make and you really have no cleanup. All right, so I'm gonna cut this right here. Ooh, I love when those tortillas get nice and crispy. Y'all, I'm so excited. You know what? I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut in the middle. I think the middle is the best part. Oh my goodness, you can see that juice. Y'all, this this is like this is it. This is it here, y'all. You're just gonna love this. So let me cut this open here. I'm trying to figure this out, how to cut this the best way, y'all, because I'm just so excited to show you my favorite, one of my favorite recipes. All right, y'all, so look at this. I'm gonna open this up. So remember, we have our cream cheese. We have our, our chicken, which is that healthy chicken. We have our um, shredded uh, cheddar cheese. I can't even remember what I use, y'all. Man, it's still real hot, but you know what? This is such an easy and quick dinner. It's fairly healthy. And like I said, you can use corn tortillas if you want to avoid gluten, or you can even use those low carb tortillas. And you know what? I'm just gonna take a bite. I know it's hot, but I don't care. I'm hungry. Mm. 
All right, y'all, here we have our delicious cheeseburger casserole. I took this out of the oven a few minutes ago so it could cool off. I'm so excited, y'all. This is really one of my favorite things to make. And you know what, my, it's a quick and easy dinner. My family loves it, my kids love it. Everybody loves it. I love it too. All right, so let's get some of this out of here. So remember, we just layered our ground beef and we put some tomato sauce and ketchup at the bottom. Oh, look at that, y'all. That cheese. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And you have a little bit of that sweet crescent roll, which is kind of like the, the bun, but we use the crescent rolls instead because they're just so good. I'm really excited, y'all. This is gonna taste delicious. And remember, we put all that ketchup and tomato sauce on the bottom. There ain't even that much, like it's there, but it's not too much. I know it looked like a lot, so. Here we go. I'm just gonna take a bite. I'm so hungry. Mmm. All right, y'all, look at this. This is our one pan pasta bake. We have our goat cheese in the middle. So now what we gotta do is just mix everything together, all right? I'm gonna mix it all up and put it on my plate. This smells so good. I bet it's gonna taste real good. So we just use goat cheese, we use mozzarella. I think we used Parmesan, I can't even remember. Let's put some right there, oh my goodness. You know what else I like? I like this crusty cheese on top. So I'm gonna get me some of that. Wow, this looks so good, y'all, all right. I'm gonna cut, I know, I know you're not supposed to do this. My mama would, would freak out if she saw me cutting my spaghetti like that. This is gonna be so good. This is actually gonna be delicious. Mmm.